All right, let's take a look at PSET 3 now. So this one we have two programs, um, 15 and find. Uh, let's take a look at find the simpler of the two uh, first. So let's just change our working directory to make things easier. CD into PSET 3 and CD into find. All right, so I believe in this one, there's a make file, which uh, allows you to simply issue this command and will compile all the necessary files. Okay. Now we can see that um, a file has been compiled, so let's run it. Uh, but say we don't really know how to run it, so let's just do this. All right. So dot slash find needle. Um, but say we're still not too sure what uh, this needle is, we can just take a peek in the source code to find out how we actually run this. Okay, and then we can straight away see here, needle and then a to i. So we know that needle must be an integer now. So now we can kind of sort of deduce how this program runs. Dot slash find needle. So we're just finding uh, the integer needle, uh, whatever that may be. And then we can see this uh, for loop here uh, with this haystack array. <laughs> and so it's kind of like a, a metaphor where we're trying to find the needle in the haystack. And the haystack is created either through a file or we can input it, <coughs> create it through terminal. Let's try and create it through terminal first. All right. Dot slash find, let's just say number 10, or integer 10. So we can just put a couple of random numbers here, and then two, and then our number we want to find, and then eight. Okay, so as you can see, this loop goes all the way to max. Uh, and what max is is uh, a pretty big number. And <clears throat> we don't want to be entering this many um, integers. So what we can do is uh, simulate end of file by pressing Control D, and this will show that it's the end of the file, and then we can uh, finish executing our program. Okay, so it should have uh, this output right here: found needle in haystack because we've uh, put ten in there, and then this was the number we're trying to find, and we can say the. Uh, when we don't have it, let's see what happens when we don't have the needle in the haystack, so to speak. Okay, find 10 again, and, but this time we want to make sure not to add 10 in there. Okay, so we can add some pretty big numbers in here. Okay. Okay, that's all for now. So, there we go. Didn't find needle in haystack. That's pretty cool, but... Uh, say we have a really large uh, list of numbers and we just want to find one number. Uh, how would we go about doing this? Well, they provided a program for us to generate a pretty large list of numbers for us to find the number we want. So this is program generate.c. You can have a read here. Generate pseudo random numbers in zero to limit per line. And we can see what limit is. Okay. So that's just a number of um, pseudo random numbers we can generate. And I think there might be a typo right here. But that's all right. Uh, maybe David will correct that next time. Okay. David Mailer, <laughs> the uh, person who programmed this. Not me, even though our names are the same. Uh, usage generate n and s. Uh, s is the seed, and that's optional. Uh, n numbers to the random numbers are pretty simple. Okay, so how would we uh, use this in conjunction with find? Well, we can just use the pipe to pipe um to pass on the output into find to generate. Uh, remember, we've already compiled it with the make command earlier, so, oops, so we can just simply do this, uh, say, well, 1,000 numbers, now that would be really hard to manually just type out 1,000 numbers, but this program can give us 1,000 random numbers, 
So we want this uh, the output to go into uh, find. Okay, and we'll find say we want to find the number twelve. Now it's highly unlikely we'll find the number twelve because you have to remember the range of numbers. Um, I believe pseudo random numbers are zero to the limit. So I believe it's between numbers can be between zero and uh, this number here, sixty-five thousand five hundred thirty-six. So it's highly unlikely we'll have twelve, even though we generate one thousand random numbers. Uh, the numbers will be a pretty large range, so it's unlikely twelve will be generated. But let's just see. All right, there we go. Didn't find needle in haystack. So, you know, it's, uh, it's not very likely we'll find it. I have a larger uh, 10,000, still unlikely, but hey, uh, it's going to be pushing our programs now. It's going to take longer, but no needle in haystack still. Okay, keep running this. Um, maybe one day we might find it. Oh, there we go. Found needle in haystack. So, in those 10,000 numbers, 12, maybe 12 might have been even generated more than once, but it was generated at least once in 10,000 numbers we pseudo randomly generated generate.c. So that's it for um, our program find. Uh, let's move on to the game of 15. A bit more complex uh, programming challenge but uh, still doable nonetheless. Uh, it's probably, a, if it's your first time programming and you're doing, um, uh, you're tackling this problem, uh, it's probably gonna be overwhelming. Nearly 300 lines of code, uh, all in one file, so maybe a bit overwhelming, but just step through it uh, one line uh, at a time and it should be fine. All right, there's no real new weird strange lines that you haven't you know, uh, haven't encountered already. So uh, let's just run the program and see what it does. So let's just uh, go back, see the enter 15. All right, I believe we can uh, do make again. So search 15, we go in usage D. Uh, these just the dimensions uh, how what times what so say if we d equals to 3 it will be a 3 by 3 game of 15 board so let's do that making sure I actually spell it right all right so we still got some output from before but that's all right uh, we can see the game of 15 here, but the numbers are completely reversed. So, you, uh, if you don't know what the game of 15 is, I guess you could just have a Google around. Uh, but it's pretty simple. And tile to move, basically, it's already numbered. So, it's, uh, the only tiles we can move here is uh, 3 and 1, if you're familiar with the game of 15. Uh, let's say that we're not a cooperative and let's just enter a random no uh, tile number illegal move as expected how about uh, a, a tile on the board but we can't actually move it should still be a legal move there we go now let's say just enter a valid move one there we go so uh, shifted now we can move one back again so if we made a mistake we don't want to do that just move back again move three there we go, let's move four. You can see it's uh, moving around, doing its thing. Uh, seven, there you go. Let's move eight. So that's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, that, that's pretty much all it does. Uh, maybe a bit underwhelming, 300 lines of code, and that's all it does. But hey, uh, okay. So we you were you were also given a list of questions. Uh yeah. It's pretty simple questions, don't need to go over that. They have a log. 
for debugging if you need okay so that that's pretty much it for uh, PSET 3 alright 